Starfire, also known as Corianne, is a prominent character in DC Rebirth, the 2016 relaunch of DC Comics and Tarline. Originally a princess from the planet Tamaran, she pled her home after a coup and was enslaved before escaping to Earth. In the Rebirth continuity, Starfire retains her fiery, vibrant personality and powerful abilities, including energy projection, flight, and superhuman strength. She often appears as a member of the Teen Titans, bringing her unique blend of fierce combat skills and compassionate nature to the team. Her storylines explore themes of identity, belonging, and the challenge of balancing her alien heritage with her new life on Earth. Let's start with the packaging. Since this is part of the McFarlane Collector Edition, it comes in a wider box. The front prominently displays DC Multiverse Starfire and McFarlane Collector Edition. The white window shows up the figure, the art card, and the art card stand. My first impression, honestly, it is a bit disappointing. For a collector's edition, it doesn't come with many accessories, just a single set of green energy effect. The side of the box features Starfire in bold letter and DC Rebirth, indicating the version the figure is based on. It also shows that this is number 11 in the line. The other side continues the front window display repeating the name Starfire and number 11. Finally, the back shows comic art, likely the basis for the figure. Now, let's see what's inside the box. We have the McFarlane art card and a card stand, a flight stand, and a set of energy effects. The energy effect is somewhat underwhelming. It's too big for Starfire's hands and requires positioning her hands upward to stay on. For a collector's edition, it's a bit lacking in accessories. Anyway, let's look at the figure. This is clearly a retool of the Nightfall Catwoman body mold. What qualifies this as a collector's edition is the incredible head sculpt and paint job. The face with its glowing green eyes is one of the best I've seen from McFarlane. The long hair is beautifully molded with red and orange color combination that looks like fire. Perfect for Starfire. The green jewel she wears, a separate molded piece, is sharply painted. These details show that McFarlane is serious about retooling their existing molds to better match the characters. I love the bicep cut that adds articulation, but the knee joints are quite horrendous. The skin color is well chosen, and the violet and light purple paint combination on the costume is excellently executed. While I don't think this figure should be in the higher price line due to the lack of accessories, it's still a very well-made and painted figure. I hope this isn't a new norm for classifying figures in the collector's edition line. Now for the articulation. The head is on a ball joint, but the long hair limits movement. It can't look up but it does look forward and side to side well. The shoulders and arm can do a T-pose. There's a bicep cut for rotation, double jointed elbows, and the usual double peg joint for the wrists, but no butterfly articulation. The torso has an ab cut and waist rotation, but the range of motion is limited. The tie articulation isn't great, and I wonder why they did not include a tie cut. It could be easily hidden. There are double jointed knees,
ankle pivot, and toe articulation. She can do splits. and band them poses. This figure looks good, but I keep asking myself why it's not a regular release since it's a retool of an existing mold. We know the answer. McParlane knows what they are doing. The fact that he said he doesn't want to make too many female figures has worked on their advantage. Now, when a female character we really want is released, it's put in the higher price collector edition line. I hope this doesn't become the norm because it'll hurt my wallet, but I'll still be one of those people buying them. Proof being, I've already pre-ordered the collector's edition, Huntress. If you've reached this part of my video, thank you for the support. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to leave a like share, and subscribe. Again, guys, thank you for the support.